Lately, I've been getting a lot of questions on how I got my crunker settings, what they are, and like why my game looks the way it does. So I just decided that maybe a video like this will clear up everything and make it really easy for anyone to replicate or use my settings if they wanted to do that for whatever reason they want to do. So I just wanted to organize the video a little bit easier so you can know exactly what to watch or like what's going to happen when. I'm going to start off with my settings, my then my keybinds, then CSS, and then my mouse DPI. So I'm just going to open up Crunker. Let's go to my settings. Uh, here's my general tab. I do have high tech rate on and my resource swapper is on. So those are probably, oh, and unlimited FPS. Those are probably the three things that are most important on this screen. Uh, next, with my controls, I have 0.37 sensitivity on everything, and that's that's it for that. My UI is 0.8 right now. Uh, there's some colors and things that are changed in here. If you guys just want to copy that, you can. Um. Yeah, a lot of this is to match up with my red scheme. This is my crosshair too. It's just a white dot. It's pretty, pretty chill, pretty cool, pretty easy to use. And my head marker. And then my render. I have it on point, on one resolution. Usually my aspect ratio is 1920 by 1080, but I think it's just however you open the settings menu, that's what we'll say. Frame cap zero, of course. Anti-aliasing on. Uh, yeah. They're kind of just basic settings. I kind of like my game looking kind of nice, so I have a normal one. But you got, you could definitely play with that off though. Cool, cool, cool. And then my game settings. Uh, so a lot of the time I have myself on anonymous mode, but I've just started making other accounts so I don't have lobbies where people leave. Because people still leave even if though I'm anonymous or I have the badge, so it's just kind of hard to find games where I can get a lot of kills in. My field of view is 100. I keep that 100 on most games. No, I don't have rounded arms. <laughs> Alright, cool. And my sound settings, I this will just depend on you, I guess. I don't think that you'll have the same exact sound settings as I do. Because you probably have a different headphones. But who knows. Uh, next, I'll go over my keybinds really quick. So, these are my keybinds right now. The only thing that's really different than the basic stuff is maybe my 1, 2, and 3 thing right here. It just feels mo more natural to me. My shoot is left click. <laughs> I don't know why it says it's slash. Um, my kill streak for nuke is F. And then I have scroll wheel button. So like when you press in your scroll wheel, that's what I have as my toggle visibility. It kind of just really helps, I guess. I think it's this one right here. So that way I can just go into game and do this. Pull it up whenever. Here, let me host a Sub-Zero map. And this, I'll just kind of display kind of like what my settings look like. I mean, it'll still look a little bit different from what you have now because you don't have the CSS yet, but you're about to get it in just a few seconds. It'll be in the description, by the way. And I'll show you how to install it and stuff. So yeah, this is... You'll be looking closer to this, but not all the way. You won't have the guns on the bottom or the HP or the ammo on the right. But you will soon. Alright. I'm going to see you in one second when I have that kind of stuff set up for you guys to be able to throw that into your game. And I'll show you how to install it and things, okay? Give me one second.
Okay, so now I have the resource swapper just ready for you guys to install. I'll have a download link to like Mediafire or something in the description. I don't know where, maybe Google or something. But basically you'll have this folder right here and I'll show you exactly what you need to do with it to make your game look like mine. It has the CSS, my images, my models, my sound settings, and my textures. So yeah. Alright, uh, first you'll need to go to your your folder on the bottom left. You'll need to go to your documents then, wherever that is for you. Uh, mine's in my OneDrive, then documents. And then you're going to want to just throw your folder into it just like this, because it won't be there for you. Or it might be already, if you've already messed with resources. Resource swappers, that is. You just got to throw it in there, and it should work fine, as long as you have your resource swapper on endgame now. And then your game should look exactly like mine. Um, I don't think we're missing anything, but um, I do want to talk about my mouse DPI. I do use 800 DPI if you wanted to use the exact replica of what my settings are. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe.